Today I'm going to draw this pretty awesome dragon using the electric stipple dot pen by Cutalola. I actually purchased this one through 1924 US, one of my favorite creators you can check out on Instagram, I linked it below. I know there are a ton of reviews on the tube for this, but I wanted to do something a little bit bigger um, than you might see people doing, and I've linked everything I'm using below from the pen, the paper, to my favorite pencils and some other stuff in the description. Um, if you wouldn't mind just taking a second hitting the red subscribe button, that would be super awesome. It doesn't like cost you anything. Thing. It doesn't do anything. It just kind of shows you when I upload a new video whenever you log back in YouTube. So that would help me out a bunch. So the first thing to note is that it's super smooth. Like it feels like you're just drawing with a regular pen. At first I thought I would feel like that super bouncy, vibrating vibe in my hand and I was afraid it would kind of throw me off and be super jittery. Um, but it definitely wasn't. It was very steady, especially on a line, um, and I didn't feel like I was not in control of the pen at any time. So I think a lot of people worry about this, but I did not have that fear. It's it's extremely consistent, like I said, on a line. I'm not sure how it would be if you didn't sketch something out and you just went at it freehand. I have no idea, but if you're just tracing over something it's perfect like you you have full control just like you were going to use a micron or anything else so some tips for like darkening one place i know a lot of people like might get this and be like yeah i don't know what i'm doing with this obviously there's a technique to using one of these and i've only just started so i'm not a master by any means but if you want to basically darken one area it's the same as if you were going to use a micron or any other pin you just need to go over that place multiple times and just be careful because if you if you try to if you try to just make your hand harder and press down harder you're gonna start getting like strokes instead of dots um, which could be cool if you're doing something like fur on a fox or a bear or something like that but just be cautious because the harder you get yes it may be darker but then you kind of lose the the dots motif that you're you're kind of going for which is the whole point of this so my tip would just be to like leave it vertically up and down as much as possible because uh, if you start doing it at an angle you might also get those strokes and that's like sort of user error i'm not sure if it's um machine error i think it's just you learning how to use it some tips for fading and shading obviously like the lighter your touch the lighter the dot is going to be um, and also spreading your hand away from the darkened area is a good technique so like you're going to see that it's going to make <laughs> obviously hundreds of little dots but it's super easy to be in control and just like darken one area and move away from that area Area with multiple dots like I do kind of around uh, the back side of like the tail area okay so which type of paper is best so you're gonna have to experiment with this I tried it on three different types of paper one was regular computer paper one was this pack on manila drawing paper which is more for like graphite and pencil drawing and then on the paper you see in the video is 70 pounds sack sulfite paper and I, I really love this paper I enjoy drawing on it uh, reason is it's super tough it can take a lot of erasing it can take pencil and inking and you have a lot of more control over your line and I've linked that down in the description for you to check out and on the computer paper it was fine uh, on the pack on drawing paper it was absolutely awful I would not recommend it and on this paper it's performing beautifully like I have no resistance like the ink is going in the paper no problem and I would also definitely suggest using this with your paper against a hard surface because if you start stacking paper on top of each other and then trying to use it it's like less concrete um, contact I guess so it's gonna be a lot softer it's gonna be a lot lighter ink which you don't want so just have it on a table like I have here I'm pretty sure it's not gonna mess up the table it's not like a permanent sharpie or something like that so think about it like a typewriter you really need good hard contact for it to do what you want to do and for the ink to show up so um, does it hold a charge so kind of I think that I didn't maybe let it charge long enough or something the first time but I let it charge for three hours before I used it and it lasted maybe 10 minutes before I felt it was kind of getting weak maybe I was doing something wrong I have no idea but I just left it hooked up and it's wonderful like this is not a long video but it took me about 30 minutes minutes to make this thing. Long story short, I would not plan to go anywhere without taking the cord with me and a means to like use the cord and so that's how I'd suggest using it is just leave it plugged up. Alright so why is this great for tattoo artists and illustrators? And I mean besides the other reasons I've stated so far it's just extremely consistent. I mean for tattoo artists I think it's maybe one of the best ways they can they can practice especially if they're gonna have clients coming in wanting this kind of style which is pretty popular and they can get a feel for how the needle might be handled I know it's not exactly the same but they might get a feel for like how a heavier needle like a 16 17 or something even more would feel um, for illustrators I think this is like the perfect magic tool for getting that vintage aesthetic and I mean like what I'd like to do on my channel is 
more vintage stuff and the, the clients that I like to do stuff for is more vintagey. So this is like the perfect tool to skip all of the hard work kind of. Um, I mean, you still have to know what you're doing and sketch it out right. Be a lot more specific with using your analog pens, but this is perfect for any artist or illustrator that's wanting to kind of specialize in that dot or stipple style. So I definitely can't recommend it enough. So here's my final dot pen dragon illustration that I completed with this electric Cutalola pen. Tell me what you think in the comments. You can grab it on Amazon or I would, you know, suggest getting it from 1924 US. Um, you'd be supporting a, a super awesome, amazing small business and brand studio that's doing phenomenal work. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out some of the other videos I have here on the channel and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.